This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how does the history recall brush work? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. So the question is asking about the history recall brush. So to find the history recall brush, it lives in the brush palette. So I've come over to the brush palette and open this up. And then in here, if I press H on my keyboard, it'll isolate by all brushes that begin with H. And in here, I can select the History Recall Brush. Now, the History Recall Brush will allow you to set a specific history point in your undo timeline, and then allow ZBrush to transfer those details from that history point using projection to your current undo. So as an example of this, let's say I have this sphere here. And with this sphere, I went through quite a few different sculptural marks. So I started with some cross hatching, and then I decided I didn't like that. And then I added these lines, and then wasn't really happy with that. And then I ended up with this S shape. So once I got to this stage here, I decided, hey, maybe that cross hatching was a pretty good sculptural mark. So I can use the history recall brush and go back in time to that undo point, set that as my point of reference, and then project the details from that history point to my current undo. So I'm going to the undo history bar here, and I'm going to select that undo that had those hatch marks. I'm now going to hold down the control key and then click on that undo history point. You'll see it's going to give you this white rectangle. And now this is set as my recall point. So now if I go back to my current undo, and I have the history recall brush selected, if I now sculpt on my model, you're going to see that it's going to project the details from that point that I stored in the history. So as I scrub across the mesh here, you're gonna see I'm gonna recall back that sculptural mark. Now let's say I wasn't completely happy with this and I did like those little damn standard marks better. So I can go to the history timeline here and find those marks. I can hold control and click to store that as my recall point. Now I can go to the current undo point. And now I can sculpt on my model and this is now going to project that point in history onto my mesh. So you can see now I'm getting these shapes onto my model. Now you can use the history recall brush also as kind of like an erase function. So if I go back to a point on my model that maybe had nothing, so just a blank sphere like this, I can set that as my recall point and then go now back to my current undo. And let's say I didn't like this cut through the middle here. I can use the history recall brush, which is now gonna project back the blank sphere since I stored that as my point and I can now erase that detail. And this can be used in all sorts of different ways to start tailoring some of the sculptural marks that you already made to your mesh. Now, since this is a brush and it's using projection, you can also change the intensity of this. So if I just wanna soften a mark on my model, I can just decrease the intensity. And now as I apply that, I'm gonna be able to soften some of these areas as well. So the History Recall Brush is extremely powerful in modifying any strokes on your mesh that you've made. Now, since the History Recall Brush is using projection to transfer the details, this means you can also use it across multiple subtools or even across entire tools. So as an example of this, let's say I have this model here, and I wanna take the eyes from another mesh and use the History Recall Brush to project them onto this model. So if I move this over into space here, you can see that this is the mesh I wanna store the History Recall Point from, and then I wanna project it to this mesh over here. Now, both these models live in the same space. So as I rotate the model around, you can see they are lined up. So what this means is if I have a history recall point stored on this model, if I come over here and sculpt using the history recall brush right here on this mesh, it's going to project the details from the eye of this model and apply to the mesh here. If I change the angle of my mesh here and then say use the history recall brush right here on this model, it's gonna project the mouth from this model and apply it over here. So to get the History Recall Brush to work across multiple subtools or even tools, we just need to select the tool we want to project from and store a History Recall point. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm open my subtool palette. So you can see I have this version of the mesh and then I have the one with the facial details. So I want to store a History Recall point on this mesh here. So I'm going to come up here and hold Control and click. And now this mesh is going to be stored to memory. So now if I go back to that other subtool and now have the History Recall Brush loaded, if I come and start sculpting across the mesh here, you can see those details are gonna to start to be transferred. Now, since this is a projection and not a morph, ZBrush is going to project those details onto the current topology of the mesh I have. So this model's topology was a little bit low, so as I project this, I'm getting the details, but I don't have enough resolution to support them. 
So what I could do is I could divide the mesh up some and then now use the history recall brush. And this is gonna allow me to get a better result. Now correspondingly, this can also be used with Sculptress Pro. So if I undo my changes here to get back to the original version of my model, and now I come to the top here and activate Sculptress Pro. Sculptress Pro will allow me to project those details and then apply tessellation based on my brush size. So if I come across this area now and sculpt, you can see I'm going to get that resolution and it's going to be applied dynamically since Sculptress Pro is active. Now, since this is a brush, I can change the intensity once again and also my focal shift. So let's say I don't want those edges to be so harsh. So I can set this down to around zero up here and then I can change my intensity as well. And as I sculpt across my model, you can see now I can start blending in those details. Now you can smooth this out and then apply it back in. So I can actually start projecting that nose through here, maybe come around like this, maybe start projecting that mouth. And since I'm using Sculptress Pro, it's going to automatically apply topology based on my brush size. So I always have enough topology to support those projected details. So you can see how quickly you can come through and transfer different sculptural details from one mesh to another. Now this one here was done across subtools. So let's say I wanna go even further and do it across tools. So I just need to come up here and select another tool that has a model that lives in the same space as the one I wanna project from. And then I need to come up here, hold control and click to set that as my history recall point. Then I can go back to my model here. I can now use the history recall brush. And now it's gonna project the details from this tool onto the mesh. So as I come across here, I can now start projecting those, and you can see now I can project those details onto the surface of my mesh. And then you can smooth these out and blend these in however you want to, and if you have Sculptress Pro active, you're gonna be able to come through and use Sculptress Pro to your advantage to get everything nice and smooth and refined. You can have a lot of fun mixing and matching different faces and different sculptural assets across many different models inside of ZBrush. Now, once again, to recap, in order to have the history recall brush work, you first wanna make sure that you have a history point that you wanna to recall to. So on my sphere here, I'm gonna come back to this undo point here. And if I want to recall to this point, you just need to come up to your undo history bar, hold control and click. That will store that recall point into memory. Now I can go back to my current undo point here using the history recall brush. I can now project those details back onto my model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.